Fuck, it happened again. Oh, this one's got red inside. Sorry about that, I guess this will be part three. Oh, balance of accountability with authority. Oh. Over authority, I should say. Oh. So you go, you, you throw all your authority away, or you let it get taken from you, and you say nothing, and you do nothing, and you don't let them know otherwise, in terms they can't help but comply with, as you must in a society, because you've been so socially engineered and subjugated, and this is exactly what you get. All kinds of horrific things happening because they're so out of balance. Instead of just, you know, the occasional little bad thing happening. Just little, huge bad things happen and they go on and on like these fucking endless wars. Like this fabricated fucking military industrial complex bullshit about... Yeah, yeah, you know, you know uh, 10, 20, 30, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll just uh, keep paying these guys to be terrorists and then we can tax you to react to it and forever. Hey, we'll just make that a permanent thing. None of these fucking terrorist actions are, are from any, anyone but the government. This, they're the only ones that gain by this shit. They've been proven time and time and time again to be the ones doing it. Just like the motivation suggests. Sure, once in a while you might get somebody that's fucked up enough to do stupid shit like that, but or tricked into it. But they always got their fingers right there. It's just a fucking game. We got lots of important things for them to do. We're going to teach them how and show them how to round up the real criminals. Start with the trillionaires or the billionaires. Make it your choice. Just get it done. Everybody's got to start helping. You know. I'll just give a simple example. <gasps> How could poor rocketers possibly get away with their bullshit in the midst of millions of people at, a, at a, a peaceful town hall meeting out in the streets or whatever, a pots and pans revolution? How, how the fuck could you ever be worried about a provocator when everyone's got cameras? There's crowds, so you just fucking dehood them because it's now a crime. Well, it always was. If you're committing, commissioning, wearing a disguise in the commission of an offense, it always was a crime. And now it's even more so, doubly so, said again under Harper's bullshit uh, anti-public gathering laws. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is you got the communication device, you get on it. You go over these fucking monsters, these corporate beasts, like Bill Gates, Inc., or Queen Elizabeth, Inc., or any of them, and you just say, well, here's your fucking pulse, and you all be, you get together if you need to, and you gather steam, and you tell others, and there's your fault, and it will adjust. And these fucking uh, beasts that are built on misery and destruction, Sociopathic competitive beasts will just be no more. They'll just fucking go bankrupt. And people gotta look themselves in the face because they let now know where their pension fund money was lost to. Some fucking scam to steal a bunch of natural resources from some brown people in Africa or whatever. You'll know that their money did that, which it does as a taxpayer. You're, you're trying ten grand when another person gets murdered. That's what your tax dollars are doing. That's what you're doing. You're culpable to it. This is part of this imbalance thing. 
obviously the corporations and the corporate heads are one and the same. But these 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 sick beasts have no balance because they're like an artificial mutagen that just showed up in the environment, like an H15N virus. That's what a corporation is, only much more deadly. And it hasn't been balanced and assimilated into society yet. So get with it, people. Um, go for the biggest prick on the block, the most deadly, dangerous to, to you and every other life form. You know, go for the genetic modifiers. Say no to GMO. Go after fucking Monto, Monsanto. Do them a favor. If there's any hope for those corporate beasts to survive, it'll be because they are now have what they were lacking, and they're now balanced and integrated into society. Okay, fuck social engineering. You better get re-engineering and putting it back to basics, or there will be no survival for anyone. Wow. None. Because you won't have lived up to your authority. There's no escaping the, the accountability, the liability catches up with everyone. Wow. Right, there. This time we didn't shut it off. The camera was rolling. There. Took three parts, but we said it. Hope you've enjoyed a walk down Rose Alley. With me and the dogs. Hey, kitty, too. Come out. You want to show them your world? That's it. That's her world. She eats too many. Well, then she dies. And so do the mice. Ain't no different for you. If you're being a host to these parasitic beasts, these corporate beasts, well. that gets out of balance then you die and so do they. Alright. Anything to add? Yeah. Exactly what you were gonna say? Ah oh, thanks guys. You guys are just letting me off the hook here, eh? Alright. Peace out, live long and prosper. balanced with your accountability. Stop allowing others to assume your authority.